So sometimes this guy here uh, is going to stand up. Right. So right. as soon as soon the guy stand up, you need to open your legs and then keep the knees up so he doesn't sit down and crush me. Right. Can't let him do this. Can't let him do this. Let's do it again. When he gets up, right, I'm gonna go here. See how he can't do this no more. And then I hold his feet, his feet, not his pants, his feet like this. And I'm gonna push him back until he falls. And when he falls, I hold the legs. Otherwise, he's gonna cross the legs around my waist. <coughs> then I'm gonna push my feet behind me, hold the leg, and put my hands on the ground in front of my knee and they start to walk in, in, in front of him and then pin him on the ground. I sit down, open my knees. Okay, I'm done, do the other way. Here. So uh, it's always good to hold him here. He stand up, right? It's, I keep him, see, I keep him off so he think he's not gonna crush me. And then I'm just gonna push, here, right? Put my hands over here. Otherwise, I'm going to try to stand over here. He's just going to grab my foot and pull it. And, right, and I'm in trouble. He, if I'm going to lock my leg, you do a lot of bad things here. It's not good for you. So the only way to get to the top is again. So he goes, I'm going to keep my knees like this so he cannot crush me. All the leg quick as I can, push. And do this, look. Right? And then I go and hold his head or whatever. Okay, guys? Let's go. Over one side, if he lifts this leg up, I'm gonna go that way. If he lifts this leg up, I'm gonna go that way. But whatever it is, you need to go here. Like that. Otherwise, you're not gonna get up because your legs is in front of you. Your legs has to go out and your shoulder to the other side completely. Now you can walk with your hand in the front. You understand? So your leg has to go to the side and your hand's gonna go in front of the knee. Uh, if he's more heavy, let's go here a little bit, look. And then go if he's a little wide. Okay, but you gotta push your legs backward. Your leg has to go backward like this. And then you go. This is not good. Here. And go. Let's go. Same thing, right? He stands up. I always try to look. If I can't grab here, I'm, maybe I'm grab here. You know, this way when he stands up, I try to, you know, to 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 break his portion. But you know, I try. He stood up anyway. Right, go ahead. So I go here. See, I see I push a little bit. If I don't, he's gonna crush me here. He's gonna sit on top of me. And then that's it. For sure he passed the guard. And if he can punch, he's gonna smash me here. Here I have a little chest here because I'm okay. And, and then because he closed, I grab the leg. If he was not close to me, I, I just do something else. Right now he wants to be close. So I go here, right? And then I push him like this. Now, when I get up, he put his head in my chest. Right, and then, and then if I don't know what's up, there's no way, keep pushing. I, I, I'm gonna lose him here. But look, I, I do here, I, see, I, I grab him here. And then instead of bringing my chest to his head, I bring my hip into his, his tricep here, like that. Keep this foot here and put this on top of his head and I'm course not gonna let go here. And then I'm gonna twist. For sure, hold his wrist. Watch, guys. Again. So here, up. Right. See, I pull the push a little bit. Go here and turn. All right. Let's go. So you're twisting his wrist. You gotta twist his hand. His hands gotta be twist, right? And then the thing is that you you're gonna go that way, and then he pushes you. And, and when he pushes you, don't bring your chest forward because if you put your chest forward, his back is gonna go to the ground. 
It's okay. <clears throat> the problem here, if his back go to the ground and he keep the hand in your chest, he'll be able to make space and recover the guard. So if you put his chest on the ground and grab his head and, and keep your hip in the line of his belly, you're okay. But that's why he do this. He wants to keep your hips back, even though he, he go in your chest. And when you go here and he, you push him back, he's gonna slide and put between your legs, his leg. So he gotta go here, right? And then turn, and turn, and turn, turn, turn. That's the trick, to be short. How we doing? We good, a little more? Yeah, let's go, a little more. Let's do it right. Grab the wrist, bring your pelvis underneath him. And third, he's gonna get hurt. So if you wanna do it 10 times, you have to let him turn, otherwise he's only gonna do one time. Right, so see, I keep him so he can't can crush me. And then I go here and I push to the floor. Go here, right, look. And now when I go here, sometimes, right, he, he turn. Right, so go ahead. And then when he turn, you need to put this leg quick on his head and move your hip while the left leg is on top of his leg, his head, and then go. Don't go here. He's gonna, you're gonna lose him. This leg's gonna stay on top of him so he get up. He can't get up, he can't get up, and then you pass. You see, don't leave this leg up to put this over, he's gone. One more time. Also, you can help him go if you hold his leg. It's up to you, right, he goes. Right, see, here, keep him off, right? So now, he goes, right? He's heavy, until this go over. Let's go. The only time we cross the legs is, is here, this way. That's the only time. <coughs> because he can't put his right elbow on the ground. Of course, I'm going to hold. You see what I mean? But if this don't have don't have this, don't cross the leg. He's gonna push it over his head. Push over your head, you see? It's hard for me to hold him. I need to be here, like this sideway, not this way. Heavy, this has to be on top. So if this leg is on the bottom, so it's gonna go like this. See how my right leg stay, my knee still point to the left, right? Cause this, you're gonna end up, put, put your head up. You're gonna end up like this. You don't wanna do this. He's gonna sit up, right? So, look, sit up. No way, cause this leg doesn't move. It doesn't go here. This is the trick. Yeah, I'm not saying you're not gonna finish, but then he might crush you. You're not gonna finish, maybe, maybe not. Don't take the maybe. He roll. You know you got one leg over and one leg under. The leg that is over is the inside leg. So if he make a bridge, you lose him, right? So you still gotta keep his head on the ground. So he don't make a bridge on top of your leg that is under his head. So keep his head down, pull this out, and then keep this down. Don't go here. That's his gone. So he gonna either he gonna either make a bridge here or he gonna stand up and crush you here. You see what I mean? You guys get it, right? Yes. I know you guys don't understand, but you will. It won't take long before you understand this. Right? Look, one more time. No, no, it's coming. So we here, right? And then I pull him here, look. So I go here. Now look what, look how, where, where I'm gonna end up. Go ahead and roll. Look, one leg is under and one leg is over. If you make a bridge, if he knows he's gonna make a big bridge, right? Stay on top of my leg and keep making a bridge until his right hand goes outside. Now he can turn to me. 
right turn to me right this is no triangle right if he, if we turn to me when this leg uh, is it's not it's not a good idea he knows so wait this is it's coming back wait wait, wait. come back one notch lower right here right so we here that's what that's where we end up right so i gotta go here and keep here and look how i turn this leg is stay here it doesn't go here now he's going to make a rocky chair right and go on top of me I don't need this you understand right off the bat you grab the wrist and twist now because of that he's going to go hurt but because of the momentum he probably going to roll but he didn't tap he's still in the fight you see what i mean if he tap, it's all good. But if he didn't tap and he got hurt, you gotta make him tap. So you gotta keep his back on the ground, right? Head on the ground, so he don't make a bridge on top of the bottom leg. And bring both hands outside between your head legs and get up, he's in your guard. Right? So keep this leg down and then go here. Instead of doing this, his head is here, he's gonna get up. Let's go, we got four men. Matter how you catch the guy, it's the same concept, right? Like <coughs> this, this arm bar, both of your legs at the end of the arm bar is over both of his shoulders, over, right? It's not one under, one over, right? Let me show you this for a second. I want you to see it. It's not like this, right? It's it's like this. This is how it is, right? So if he if he pulls back on the ground, that's how we that's how we finish, right? Sit up. Right. So right, let's suppose I'm here, and then the guy start to stalk me or whatever. Right. The way I'm gonna finish the onboard is like this. Look how my knees are. That's what I'm talking about. Lay down. <coughs> Look how my knees. That means that all my weight is on top of his upper body. Because at this point, his defense, he's standing up and stack me. There's more or less three ways he can defend the armbar, right? T tell me. Tell me what they are. Yeah. Stand up and stack me one. What else? Turn and elbow on the ground. I don't know how you're gonna do. You have to find a way not to let him put the elbow on the ground so he can cross the legs underneath his arms, put the hand on the ground, shoot forward, pick up his hand. I don't know. You have to find ways. Put heavy on top of his head so he doesn't get up and stack you and hold the wrist so he doesn't turn. If you do this, you're gonna finish. If not, you're not gonna finish. You might gonna be close to finish and maybe lose the, maybe not, I don't know. Why take a chance? This, you can't forget. And if it's, it doesn't matter how you catch the armbar from your back, he's on his back, from the mount, it's the same concept. It's the same defense. I mean, the, your, your attack has to be parallel to his option of defense. Otherwise, you don't have a defense, you don't have an offense, it's, it's nothing. Everybody can finish somebody that don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Just throw the legs, I see guys throw both legs over, they fall back, the guy don't even know that he can actually move and he tap. It doesn't count for us. The only thing count is when you know the guy you fight knows how to defend what you offense. Otherwise, he's gonna teach you the defense. He's gonna teach you how to do it right. He's gonna defense every time. And you're gonna have to figure out how not to let him. Might as well start yet at the same time. Let's go, in the guard.